So very, very slick and easy to get up in action. So let me see if I can play with this. I'll create a directory for me to work in, uh, and I actually will define it as a little poetry package so that we can cruise through using some Python and actually getting those dependencies up and at them. We can skip a lot of this for the moment. We can uh, just let it go and then see, can I add layer IO to get that in action? Yeah, cool, perfect. Let me be sure to actually get into that poetry environment. And I'll make just a simple test script where we could use their example to validate and see if we are connected A-OK. -okay. I've just prepared the API key as an environment variable. So let me see if I can work with the test script and validate. Yep, we are connected, looking good. So now my next question is, can we get to this monitor leaked cookies for our domain capability and just kind of roll through the example where they are querying for the Scatterholt domain and trying to see if there have been any leaked cookies. Actually, their documentation will tell us a little bit more. Oh, and we can act, even just play with it in here. They showcase all the different parameters we could provide, domain being uh, everything that we've seen. I think especially that the expires after option is pretty awesome because then you could just genuinely be looking for still active cookies that need to be invalidated or terminated. Oh, and they have a response example. At the very least, you still have all the insight for whatever website or whatever session, expired or not, may very well have some anomalous activity that you can go review. And if it's necessary, go disable the account, reset it, or whatever damage control is needed. With this API endpoint and with totally flexible code, however you want it to be, adding in whatever other integrations and other workflows that you might like, you've got the visibility and the threat intelligence. But hey, holy crap, that was a long one, but my goodness, I hope you had a lot of fun because look, that is how session hijacking can just as easily be done. 